Hey, this is Marla with MarlaGetsFit.com. I'm doing a quick update on my 60 hour um, fast keto reboot. And I am, what is it, 50 hours in so far. So doing really good, feeling really good. Um, it is, of course, the, was, I started Sunday night at 6 p.m. And uh, let's see, it's Tuesday night. So, you know, two, two days, a little over two days and I'm getting a few hunger pangs now, you know, been feeling really good, lots of energy, um, not having a problem with that, um, but everyone's eating tonight, and of course, my husband had fried chicken, and man, why does chicken have to smell so good? <laughs> I think that's the worst part. Um, I'm pretty good. I don't really feel like eating or anything, but when you smell something really, really good, uh, it kind of gets your, your stomach going, and you, you want to eat something, so trying to avoid that. Um, they also made uh, brownies, which is one of my favorite things, but I am resisting. No brownies for me. Uh, anyway, feeling really good. I am drinking my second ketone drink today. This is a raspberry lemonade, which is really good. Uh, lots of uh, energy with that. Um, this morning I had chocolate swirl, which is really good too. I think the raspberry uh, lemonade is my favorite. And then they just came out with a kind of citrusy flavored splash version, which is really, really good. So anyway, feeling good, um, doing the fast uh, to reboot my system, uh, reset my metabolism, get my body um, in fat burning mode, um, rejuvenate skin, skin cells and dead cells and damaged cells. And that will, um, you know, it's, it's very anti-aging, helps with longevity and disease resistance. Uh, lots of diseases they're finding fasting extended fasts help with um, you know diabetes there's lots of people who have actually you know reverse their diabetes and there's just lots of benefits um, so I'm hoping hoping for some good uh, good results with that and um, also one of the things with you know a lot of when you lose a lot of weight you have loose skin and they um, are saying that, you know, if you do extended fasts, several extended fasts, um, you, your body will actually eat that dead skin and, and you don't have the loose skin problem. So I'm really, really excited. I'm hoping that that, that pans out. I think I can kind of tell in my arms. Um, it's definitely tightening up. It doesn't seem as loose as it was. So it could be a combination of just um, the autophagy from the fasting as well as um, I have been trying to do a few arm exercises, um, get that in there, so uh, I'm trying to do everything I can. Hi, Mom! <laughs> um, anyway, feeling really good, uh, and I think I'm going to, my 60 hours is over uh, tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., but I will probably go until 4 or 5 tomorrow evening, just because you know, I'm already busy at work, so what's the point, point? and I'll eat, trying this time, I'm going to try to eat to ease back in to eat eating with uh, just a simple meal instead of going all out like the past few fasts I've kind of you know had hot dogs and chili low carb chili and you know I don't eat you know go off of low carb but sometimes I eat a little too much the first meal I should just ease back into eating and ride out the benefits of the fast and don't um, don't start pigging out or anything like that just because you're getting to eat again. So I'm going to pick something really, really good that I want to eat tomorrow um, and fix that for dinner. And hopefully, I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to eat, but I will definitely do another update um, tomorrow and let you know how I'm doing. And if you have any questions about intermittent fasting, I do that also normally daily, um, 16 hours of fasting and an eight hour eating window. So I stop eating at 7 p.m. at night and I don't start eating again until 11 a.m. the next morning and that also helps with rebooting um, and it helps there's lots of studies if you have a smaller eating window you know you can you don't even have to be low carb but it will help you to lose weight and to you know at least maintain your weight and that sort of thing and there's still benefits to that and then the extended fasting which I do once a month for 60 plus hours that really helps you know, reset your whole system and um, uh, human growth hormone is generated and, you know, lots of stuff for anti-aging, which I'm, you know, starting to worry about these days. <laughs> anyway, send me any uh, questions that you have. You know, I'd love to hear from you if you're fasting, how you're doing on low carb or if you're fasting. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I will see you on my next update.